All right, so now that I've analyzed my natural hair mistakes from the past 11 years, I'm pretty sure there's more. Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. Now I can go ahead and just talk a little bit about the conversation of whether the natural hair community failed us or not. A lot of people are saying the natural hair community did fail us. A lot of people are saying natural hair community is dead. A lot more people are not interested in it. And I completely disagree with all of that. You know, we can agree to disagree. It's fine. This is an open discussion, right? I feel like a lot of times we take for granted what we have and it's totally normal we are human beings and we will take a lot of things for granted you feel whether we worked for it or not and having the internet you know can be a blessing and a curse that's a whole nother discussion in itself but having this community of girls and guys of people trying out different products of people I'm trying out different DIYs of people doing research and coming on YouTube and trying to progress the natural hair community and other people to take care of their hair, to love their hair and maintain their hair is a privilege in itself. You know, we as black people have grown up not knowing anything about our hair period. Like we are just going on with generations before us has been doing and you guys can tell like you guys see the generation before us of 4c especially natural hair people we do not we never had the reputation of having long natural hair it was almost very rare to see a black 4c hair to be as long and flourishing especially between the teenage years and up into adulthood when you're a kid we didn't realize, you know, it was the simple things that we did, the simple routines that our mothers did in order for us to keep our hair. To so the flip side, there are people who have been just damaging their hair, just know only to damage their hair, thinking is that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, a lot of our bad habits, a lot of our hair traumas are derived from us continuously doing manipulative things thinking this is the way we're supposed to maintain our hair but as the natural community came along we definitely realized that our hair needs tender love and care you know back then we've always seen our hair as being rough like it's we thought our hair could go through fire and back you feel me because it wasn't as soft as either the early curly textures or the straight hairs or the wavy hairs because we thought ours felt rougher physically that ours were stronger and i feel like it's the completely opposite now that i am 11 post um big chop from relaxers i can definitely tell my hair as a natural 4c is way more delicate needs way more tender loving care than my hair as a relaxed stage yes the relaxed hair definitely breaks down the bonds makes it weaker makes it straighter and all of that but i honestly feel like i can neglect my relaxed hair way more than i can neglect my natural hair natural hair is like you can't neglect it will tangle up if it dries out it will break off it will become brittle like it's such a fragile texture like our hair is not a brittle pad and we've always in the past compared our hair to a brittle pad it is not brittle pad are tough our hair is not like that i don't think the natural hair community has failed us i feel as a lot a lot of people um just are way more influenced than they should be they're not taking accountability within themselves when it comes to brands and sending products out and influencers or content creators uh, reviewing and putting their two cent in there everybody is going to try to manipulate the system everybody is going to want to fall into capitalism you know why because that's the way we eat to be honest so you have to take everything with a grain of salt. There are people out here that are very transparent. There are people out here who will not take any old brand deals because they are more loyal to their audience than to the brand. So you cannot take the batch that are telling you lies just so they can get a quick bug. You feel me? 
I'm not the type of person when it comes to my content to say this is a holy grail of anything. I mainly like to take brand deals in order for me myself to try the product out. While I'm trying the product out, I might as well get paid to do it. Like it just makes sense, right? Like that's not rocket science. If you want to go test drive a car and they said, oh, we'll pay you to test drive this car. You don't have to say, oh, this is the most amazing car out there. But I bet I'll give my audience, I'll give my uh, community the details, the specs of the car. If they want to go purchase a car, they can. If they don't, they don't have to. But this is my review and bet I'm getting paid for me to speak about the details and how this product works. That's how it really should be. So if somebody is saying this is the holy grail of the holy grail, either they really, 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 really love it and it really works for the hair, cause you know, that can, you know, that can, that can be true too. Or they really don't um, respect the audience that they have grown. But at the end of the day, all brands are looking for sales. We are looking to get paid and all. It happens in every community. It does not matter. It is not strictly natural hair. It is not strictly black. Y'all know capitalism is everywhere. It's on the TV. It's on your phone. It's on billboards. Like it's everywhere. So that's not anything. It's not anything uncommon. There's nothing new. You feel me? Like I was mentioning before, I do think people need to take responsibility and accountability on what they are being influenced to do, not to do. By now, this is 2023. We should know that every product on market is not going to grow our hair. We are the ones that are going to grow our hair. Our genetics is going to grow our hair. We just need to do our best in order to maintain it, to moisturize it, and to keep it on our heads. You feel me? So I honestly believe without the natural hair community, we will still be lost. We will either still have to pay, like, a lot of money for us to go get our hair taken care of, treated um, by other people that probably doesn't even know how to treat hair. So over time, throughout the years, I feel like the trial of error that we do on ourselves is very much beneficial because I'm the type of person where I feel as though you need to know the back end of everything and i'm like that even with especially for my business i know the front end and i know the back end you know you can't tell me nothing about my back end because i know so a lot of us if we go to other hair specialists or natural hair specialists we let them do whatever we don't really know what's going on they're not really educating us some probably are but not to the magnitude as we would be educated if we did those trial and errors on our hair ourselves you understand so the natural hair community definitely did not, did not, honestly did not disappoint to be honest. But you cannot blame the community for having it out there because that was an option. For some people it may work, for some people it may not. For example, if you're still doing the egg, avocado, mask, protein mix, and it still works for you, keep on going. But if you're 11 years, seven years, five years out and your hair is not grown, then maybe you, need to adjust your routine and probably eliminate a lot of things that you just hold on to and think oh this is the way it should be you feel me i feel like a lot of people they don't realize they have that mentality where well i've been doing this for years so i'm gonna continue doing it um if it's not working maybe you need to adjust maybe in the beginnings like the true true through roots of the learning our hair the first 10 7 to 10 years of the YouTube natural hair community I honestly think were the prime 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 eras now with the clove water or uh, rice water or like whatever is going on that's gonna grow your hair overnight all of those are just purely content it's nothing to really jump over definitely try it. and if it works for you keep it definitely keep it nowadays it's just all of the products are basically the same it's just a little bit of reformulation and or just different packaging so take everything with a grain of salt like anything whether it's crypto, whether it's business, whether it's fashion, whether it's makeup, whether it's hair, whether it's health, 
take everything with a grain of salt. And I feel like over time, you progress over time. Like you make adjustments over time. You eliminate things that are not working for you over time. That's where true growth comes from. Now that I am in my actually working on length, because I know the health of my hair is good now. I my hair is not dry as well my I don't leave my hair as dry as I used to I don't over manipulate my hair I don't put any ridiculous um DIYs in my hair I try to keep it very natural I try to keep it very minimal especially when it comes to my stash and I eat way better than I used to like my diet now has completely changed and of course once your insides are good and flowing the blood is flowing everything is circulated properly the microbiomes in your gut are healthy then that's when you see the most hair growth so to conclude I definitely am hoping the natural hair community still go on strong. I'm hoping the upcoming natural Lisa's hair content girlies are um, giving out proper and they won't be anything new to be honest because we've already made the basics like the millennial girls we've already gotten the basics out there anything new that comes up honestly is just for content to be honest y'all already know what y'all supposed to do when it comes to your hair and how to maintain length and growth and all of that it's not complicated at all we just make it complicated and we don't have the patience in order for us to try to get our hair longer yeah everything that's come out is just gonna be content to be honest like we've already did the work we've already did the research like we it's, it's all out there you feel me i want people to still have content to refer to later on down the line people are going to be born or people are being born every day people are tapping into their natural hair on a regular daily and learning more about their hair and how to maintain it so content is still definitely needed natural hair community is still definitely needed for sure you just have to weed out the bs and what are actual valuable information it's very simple <laughs> it is very simple i think that is all so that is my little two cent on that topic i thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to follow me on instagram at importer underscore chocolate like comment subscribe do all of that good stuff or at walanda everywhere else and i'll see you guys in the next video